All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the spot healing brush. So let's click on that right here. And kind of hover over it, removes marks and blemishes, okay? So you can see from the example, when they just draw over it, it'll disappear, right? So let's try it out and see if that will, if we can Photoshop some of my blemishes here. So let's see if that works. So let's kind of clean up my beard a little bit. Let's get rid of uh, that uh, pesky red mark on my shirts. Even though it's part of the design, let's say that we don't want that. And we just want to cut that out. So. It's similar to what we did before with the marquee tool and the lasso tool and then just coloring in. This will do the same thing. It'll find the color that best will um, blend in and then it'll utilize that color to cover it up. It just does a little better job than the lasso tool and us eye dropping it. This will do all the work for you. So you can see like right here we have some, we have some there, we have some here. So what I want you to do is grab a picture of a photo that you want to desperately Photoshop, like you want to touch up and really go to work on that and, you know, get it working the way you want. Um, let's see here. So I have like a little sty right here. So let's get rid of that. Okay, we'll clean that up. I have a little mark there. A little mark here. Right there, right there. That's really looks better. Thank you for cleaning me up so much. Now we're going to get rid of this. Same with that there and you can also make the brush bigger so the size bigger so it's easier to kind of just you know grab it in one swipe and there you go so now we've gotten rid of all the the red on my shirt we got rid of all the hair on my neck and you could really go further and you know go all the way around here if we want so let's do that just to really get have some fun with this so I can go like this all the way around and kind of set the well what was that oh so let's grab the there you go that gave me kind of a weird effect that I wasn't expecting So I cleaned it up. It definitely looks better. Now the, the line there's a little weird, but that's all right. We'll work with that. So there you go. That is the spot healing brush. So if we do the healing brush, what this is going to do is we need to alt click. So let's turn the layer on. And what we need to do is if I go up here and let's say that we wanted to touch up my forehead. We need to select the tool first. Okay, so we're going to select the healing brush tool. We hold Alt and we can click right here and this will copy this color there and then we can draw it here. Okay, it'll fill it in. Okay, so you can kind of see it up here because it's a different color. And so we can use the color there to kind of fill in and make it blend with the rest of the picture. So if we want to kind of clean up my forehead a little bit, wherever it's like less rough, we can just grab it here and then bring it over. 
I never imagined that I'd be such a good Photoshop uh, project here, but I gotta say I'm pretty good. So if I hold Alt and I just go right here, then I can kind of touch up where we need to. Okay, like that. So you just hold Alt, select there, and then you can touch up here. And that will kind of clean up the image. You gotta kind of do one section at a time, but I'm kind of skipping around just so you can see what it does. Um, so there you go, that's the healing brush. Then we have the patch tool. Okay, so this is similar to like the lasso tool where you can, you know, put a patch there and then edit that. We're not gonna go too depth in that. Contour wear move tool and then the red eye tool. So a lot of times when you take pictures and this is more for like the older cameras, you'd get red eye. Um, with digital photos, I haven't seen too many red eye photos, but if you have red eye, then you, what you do is you just select the the uh, eyes here and it'll auto fig configure and fix the eyes in this picture. So if I go to the history here, let's go up to the deselect and there you go. So I'm gonna go all the way back up to the top and now we're gonna see all of my blemishes again. There you go. Okay, so that is the combination of the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, the content aware move tool, and then the red eye tool. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.